so a few days ago I got to see probably one of the craziest cars I've ever seen uh, it's built on I believe a 71 Plymouth Fury and uh, combines a number of different cars to make up the body the second biggest body is probably the Porsche that's kind of spliced onto the side of the back uh, this this creates for a nice trunk space uh, it is functional the hatch is functional the extra tail light is not, but it looks kind of cool. Uh, on the passenger side, we have a Grand Cherokee door, which actually functions. I was kind of impressed. And on the front, we have a very well-decorated hood that says Rapid Transit System. One of the front quarter panels is from uh, something from the 50s. I, I don't recall exactly what it was, but uh, it, it uses the headlight from that vehicle. Or no, it's a, it was a motorcycle headlight, so it's just a bunch of different vehicles making this car up, um, and it sounds great. And they race it in 24 hours of lemons around the East Coast area here in the United States. So let's take a look. Ha. Oh God. That's so cool. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> is this PCD? Is this transmission cooler zip tied in? Yes. <laughs> oh, you always do that. I do that. It's uh, radiator ties. I hope they're not zip ties. No, there's a About place. the engine program, what do you have in there? It's a, it came stock with a 360, uh, well, but this is a 360 out of a uh, mid-90s B350 Dodge van. Now what parts came from what? This is a 1950 or 51 Nash. Uh, it got raced in South Carolina, flipped on its roof. Got banned from the series, so we got this as a donation. Then, that is a, the fin is a so. Nissan Central floor. The hatch Radiator. is a 1984 a Porsche 924 Turbo, and this is part of a floor off of a stanza. And those are doors off of a Jeep Grand Cherokee. So when you get done rebuilding this vehicle, restoring it, it's going to Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. So when I'm actually, the, this is actually being done as Johnny Cash's one piece at a time. As soon as all the body panels are back onto, it's going to get painted flat black. And we're gonna put clear coat on top, and it's actually gonna look magnificent. Tremendous. How long do you think that might take? Next year. Because pretty much it's done. We plan to put the flat piece of metal what is this? and rivet is this a the soft top on, and do it over there as well. <laughs> it's a and then it'll be uh, an actual convertible. That can be yeah, you're doing this yourself. What is this holding? Going to other, uh, is this is this holding the door? Uh, this is <laughs> the door doesn't open. Car. Uh, yeah, he climbs in that side. The door is welded shut. We brought it up with the split neck. So now we're just working this and we plan to race it in the 24 hours lemon series, which is right here. No, you have no plans. It's not even to take a normal wrench. It's a lemon wrench. It's a lemon wrench. No, it's not going to derby. Why would you waste a good lemon wrench? Wow. To all the doors. I guess it's not a waste. It has a purpose. I'll see you on the There's a potato on the floor. That would be good. Yeah, you should get like a potato for a gear shift. Ha, ha, ha. 